Yay, good morning. Good morning, Mr. LJ. Good morning, folks. It's not Thursday. It's Tuesday. And I'm here. And you're here because doctor's report said don't talk a lot because you cough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want me to make a joke? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> when she says she's not going to talk a lot, prepare yourself for a verbal flash flood. Yep. But I know, I crack you up. The doctor said I was alive, <laughs> but I coughed all night. Nah, long. seriously. <clears throat> and I um, think I'm better, but I'm you not. You feel better? Lot. No, my chest is killing me. My head is going. You better watch that bronchitis business, I'm telling you. Well, when she used the word pneumonia in your left lung, I kind of said, oh. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of serious. <clears throat> but Dwight, what did it do about my day yesterday? See that? Photos from a busy day. Oh yeah, we did got Did the doctor's some... appointment slow me down? Didn't slow you down. Slow me that down. That may be famous last words there, you Yeah, and that's what the doctor said. She said, you could end up in the hospital. And I said, no, I don't have time for the hospital. So I, I hear feedback coming in my ear and that's driving me crazy. <laughs> Okay, see, I told you I can't talk, so here, take it away. Take you, it away? Where do you, you want me to take it to? To the photos that yeah. we took yesterday. We took photos yesterday of some of the most beautiful places you've ever seen, such as Fort Mountain. There was a sunset up there on that overlook that was, that was really nice. And we took some on Tails Creek also. And uh, there's no sunset on Tails Creek because the mountains far exceed any imagination. They're, they're way up. And uh, we, we got some really good pictures of the water and uh, rocks and stuff. We're working on putting together videos for some songs I've recorded. There's one now. Mm, is that not cool? Yeah, that's right there at the place. That mossy rock. Who's that old man there? That old man is Mr. Elegant. There's another old guy. That's an old man. Looks like he can't stand up straight. <laughs> Everywhere we chose seemed perfect. Yeah. For the setting, it was just perfect. It's good. And old Jim don't hurt none either. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Tell folks why you don't smile in pictures, because I want to know. I smile in pictures. Sometimes, if I make yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. If I make you. I don't know. I just you're like solemn. pictures where it, it looks like you're thinking about something. Studying. Maybe studying. Studying. Yeah, studying. yeah I guess. Well, let me tell you what I studied yesterday. <clears throat> I went to a um, event. And um, not to say I'm supporting anybody, but everybody knows who I support. But anyway, as a media person, I went to an event. And um, <clears throat> I can say if I weren't going to vote for the person before, I certainly would be after yesterday. About 600 people showed up. And we had a fantastic speech by, this is the early when we first got there. By the time he got there, the place was packed. Is that in Jasper? That is in Jasper. And uh, hats off to Ralph and Kim Fitz at Appalachian Gun. They put on a, an amazing event and it was packed. By the time he got there, it was beyond packed. It was very strange because we had called the airport and gotten clearance to fly a drone. Uh -huh. And then his media people wouldn't allow us to fly the drone. And I thought, well, that's strange. We got clearance from aviation, but they didn't want us to. We wanted to show how many people, because I'm telling you, there was about 600 people there. And it was amazing. But what amazed me is I went there, a non-committed voter, knowing kind of where I would be. But when I heard him speak, I know exactly where I'll be. And I want to play a little bit of that in a few minutes for y'all. Um, it was just a good day to exercise your right as an American to go and listen, decide, make a decision for your best interest. And I'm glad I was there. I probably needed to be in a hospital bed, but I was at a Herschel Walker event. So that kind of tells you my commitment to my job. And I gotta share this with you, and I'm, I'm gonna throw something at you. You had no idea. You don't know how old and how long we've been doing this. We've been doing this a long time at ETC. And on 
my 400th program, Roger Fudge and everybody from the office brought in a cake, and it was really, really cool. 400 shows. Do you know how many years ago 400 shows was? I'd say several. 12. Wow. 12. Do you know what show we're up to now? No, I don't. Over a thousand programs. Really? That is good. Over a thousand programs. And Donovan has been <laughs> behind the controls for a while. And Donovan's going to Washington, D.C. and leaving me. I don't like it, but I have a good crew stepping in. Trace, Trace is great. And, and Tim is great. And Aaron is learning. And we're just... <laughs> and so a thousand programs in. I'm losing my boy. Yeah. But that's okay because I tell them all... Do what works for you. Excel, grow, and learn. And that's exactly what he's going to do if you go to Washington. Well, DC. yeah, and Donovan's sharp. He's, he's a sharp engineer and producer, so he'll do well. He'll do well. He'll do well. And in a, he's, he's also politically interested in being in an arena like D.C. I mean, come on. It, that's pretty good. That's right. pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yep. So he's so looking at us. Can we show can we show Herschel's little one minute speech? Can we let people listen? Is that possible? I love that eviction notice. Here we go. No. And when I got too big and decided I want to build my own, he said, if you don't like the rules underneath my roof, you leave my house. And yet we got all men and women in blue right now. The morale is down. Recruitment is down because we got people in Washington that don't have their backs. You heard them at the debate just lying. Yeah. Oh, say, I, I, I support them. No, you don't. You call them names. No, you don't. Don't speak false witness, sir. You saw me call them that. And he got all formally in mouth at that. Then he started telling me how I was the one. Remember, he said he's a Matthew 25 guy. And I said, Matthew 25, I don't see where you can evict people that are suffering, people that are hurting. And he says, Herschel fault, his people were looking at it. I said, then we came up with who? Defund the police? That's a dumb idea. Wait, wait, wait. They say you can't use dumb. Not politically correct, but I'm not a politician. It's a stupid idea. I'm not a politician. You know, right now, we need law and order. You've seen crime in the streets. Even in the Garden of Adam and Eve, God said from this place here, you have total freedom. But if you touch and eat from this tree here, you will surely die. And I remember my father, when he told me no, he meant no. And when I got too big and decided I want to build my own, he said, if you don't like the rules underneath my roof, you leave my house. And yet we got all men and women in blue right now. The morale is down. Recruitment is down because we got people in Washington that don't have their backs. You heard them at the debate just lying. Oh, say, I, I, I support them. No, you don't. You call them names. No, you don't. Don't speak false witness, sir. You saw me call him that, and he got all formally in mouth at that. Then he started telling me how I was the one. Remember, he said, he's a Matthew 25 guy. And I said, Matthew 25, I don't see where you can evict people that are suffering, people that are hurting. And he says, Herschel fault. His people were looking at it. I said, okay, now, do we have a few more pictures from yesterday from the scenery that we had at Fort Mountain? Fort Mountain, and from beautiful Fort okay. Mountain. I want to remind people, to, tonight it's going to rain. So would today be a good day to go before the rain takes some of the leaves away? Yeah, that rain will bring them off there. But you know what was cool yesterday with some of the drone shots? What did you see happening? Leaves falling. Leaves falling, waters flowing. And the mountains are calling. Moss growing. Yes, it was really, really cool. Moss growing yeah, and really waters really cool. flowing. Yeah. I just now made that up. <laughs> Could you write a song with it? <laughs> Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Yeah. Can we tell people how I look a little unstable on those slick rocks. If you want to know why I look so weird, I thought I was fixing to fall any minute. Yeah, 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 that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. But we got to get y'all out today. Get in your car after we go off the air and go ride around and look. Because tonight, if that rain comes in, it will change the dynamics of how things Yeah, are. it will. Is it going to be a lot of rain? It's going to be about a half an inch. Well, that's not too so bad. Not too bad. But I mean, yeah, it'll it'll yeah. 
When the, when the leaves get saturated, they get heavy and then the wind blows and they're gone. They're gone and then it's ugly. Okay, we have been a lot of places lately and um, I want to ask you, I gotta have a tissue, I'm about to sneeze. Um, I want to ask you, out of, bless me, out of all the places we've been, what's your favorite place? Fort Mountain. I love Fort Mountain. Have you ever been to Conasauga? Yeah. And tell me about that, because I've never been there. Yeah, I've been all up in there. Yeah, it's a, it's a part of Grassy, and uh, over on the other side too, I think. And uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's real pretty. But now, we've had this discussion, I think. Grassy Mountain is, is very pretty. And I don't think it's as pretty as Fort Mountain. It's way bigger than Fort Mountain. Mm -hmm. But uh, when, you, when you go to Grassy, you have to take sandwiches. That's what they told me yesterday. Yeah, if yeah. you're gonna go, if you're gonna go from my house, my house is right at where you start up Grassy Mountain, pretty close there off of Gates Chapel Bear Path area, Shake Rag. Mm -hmm. And if you're gonna go through there and over Fort Mount, I mean uh, Grassy Mountain, which I've done several times, but you need sandwiches and some drinks. That's I'll have water, please. <laughs> Clear, cool water. <laughs> I asked Tim, I said, can we go to Conasauga? And he said, oh, it would take an hour. I said, what? Take longer than that. Yeah. It's, it's a long way. <coughs> so and it, see, the thing is, it's dirt road, so you can't go very fast. Right, yeah. So it'll take you a while to get over that up into Crandall, near Crandall on 411. And you'll need some water and some sandwiches. Yeah, okay. That's another day. That's another day. That's another day. Okay, we have some music today of yours that we're going to share. We do. We do. And one is about a burning bush. Can you tell me Echoes about recording that? Echoes from Echoes. the burning bush. Me and that Astrid Hayes, we worked and we were, and again, she stepped up to bat. All those parts flying everywhere, we like to never got that done, and we wouldn't have got it done if it hadn't been for Lady Astrid. <laughs> she, we, uh, we uh, worked and worked on it. It's probably the second hardest song I ever recorded. I don't know, I'm getting a little confused. Maybe third, because Suspicious Minds was, <laughs> was a pistol. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, <coughs> and uh, I, I misspoke it one last time I was on the show. What was it? It was J Jingle Bell Rock. I said it was rocking around the Christmas mm -hmm, tree, was, mm -hmm. was tough. They were all tough. I don't know why it is Christmas songs are hard. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, but Jingle Bell Rock is what may be the toughest one I ever did. It or, it or Suspicious Minds, I don't know. But, wow. yeah, uh, Echoes from the Burning Bush is, is a good song. I'm glad we got it done. And today we're going to share. Are we going to play it? We're going to share it with our audience in a new little concept. You're going to see oh, yeah? a new little something, and this is the dynamics of what our crew can do. Our guys have been in here getting stuff done. It's very, yeah, very it's impressive. Cool. It's cool. So here we go. Let's go to Echoes of the Burning Bush. Oh, 
all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God. you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. 
Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a rich like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind. Okay, we took a music break so I could breathe for just a little bit. Um, and that song went out too. She, she said not to mention her name. Okay. But uh, that one's for you. You know exactly friend, who you are. A dear friend up in Mineral Bluff. So there you go. Yep. And to everybody in Mineral Bluff and McKaysville, I believe Candy 
And we are going to be in the Christmas parade. Is that something that... That's what I'm hearing. That's what we're hearing, and I've already talked to my little buddy, Jabley, and he's he's all excited about it, and he wants us to be there. And um, I think it would be really cool that we're going to be able to rig up your car to play Merry Christmas songs by you as yes. we do the parade. Yes, well, yes. Yes. How do we Johnson, plan on doing that, huh? Jimmy Johnson can pull it off. <laughs> Jimmy can oh, pull it off. It's my job. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not my, that's not my department. Well, I have a Bluetooth Bose system. There you go. That might just do the trick. There you go. It's going to be fun. And, and I told you, you haven't seen a big parade till you go to McKaysville. It's Is it a big, a big, big parade. Do you mean that? It's fun. And it's cool. And I love the area. It's, it's amazing. <coughs> It will be fun, and I'm very excited that's on December the 3rd. Now, December the, November the 12th, the Isaacs will be in Canton, Georgia, and please, please, please come out and support this event. This is White Christmas for <clears throat> over 700 children in Cherokee County. They are will not good, aren't they? The, the Isaacs, Isaacs are fantastic. Yeah, I like them. They're fantastic. Now, you're working in the studio, and you're about to produce some songs. I am, yeah, I am doing what's called rigging. I'm rigging sets in the studio. I have the guitar rigged, and I have the drums rigged, and the rest of it is direct line, and it should, no, well, the acoustic guitars is not direct line, but that's easy. And it's going to be uh, going to record some new songs for this new thing where I'm doing called uh, uh, fan favorites, perhaps I guess mm -hmm. is what we're going to call mm -hmm. it. And it's going to, you know, when you do, when you do, it's some people call it the greatest hits, but I don't have any hits. <laughs> so we're going to call it fan favorites, or maybe ones okay. I like, or something like that, because you know. Uh, and it's going to, when you do that compilation you need to add you throw in some stuff and call it bonus tracks mm -hmm. and that's what it's going to be and bonus tracks are based on popularity by yeah. public appearances yeah. i'll pick out two or three songs that you seem to love to hear me play <coughs> and we'll add them on there it's going to be good too we're, we're, we're going to drop names are we oh i think we should we're going to drop names yeah I okay so. i'll drop names the songs that we will do is Home Again, Back Home Again by John Denver. I'm gonna, Great I'm gonna do a full-fledged production on this thing. Uh, Dwight style. And uh, not Johnny Cash style. Right, yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be uh, uh, Take Me Home Country Roads. We're gonna remember old Jackie Dunn. He moved away. He lives up in uh, Illinois. And uh, and probably Smoky Mountain Memories. Just some good old storytelling songs that relate that, to this area. That you seem to like, yeah. yeah. And I like, I like yeah. them. You know, it's hard to record a song <coughs> if you don't like it. <laughs> now, are you kind of surprised at the direction we took when we took you to the Red Dot? Because we're producing a video that truly is historical and we need some help from our audience. We need some old photos of the pool room. Yeah. We need I got some, some old photos of the red dot. Yep. <clears throat> and what we need are you old geezers sitting out there that what? you used to what? back in. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> you used to back in there in your cars and now you're sitting at home watching us. We want you. We want you. Yeah. We used to back our cars in out yeah. there later on. In the beginning I was on my bicycle. Oh, I love it. But uh, later on I would back my Ford in out there and sit around and, and carry on. Uh, I got a lot of memories uh, of things out there. I remember a green metal flake 57 Ford, seeing it sitting out there at the red dot. It sat there. It belonged to Jimmy Panky. Anybody remember Jimmy Panky? Wow. And uh, he was a he was a regular out there. And uh, old Bunk Elliot, he'd be at the red dot, and a bunch of them. And hence, you could get more than what you bargained for. <laughs> Back in those days. <coughs> now, when I took you there and said, this is the dynamics of what we want to do, the first thing I said 
is you have to find somebody to lay off drag and burn some rubber. So who have you chosen? Yeah, well, I'm working on that. I'm trying to figure that one out. Uh, I Number gotta, one, we have to get permission from the police because we're going to make a record. I don't know about that ruckus. either. Yeah, we don't want to. <laughs> we got a lot of work to do on that one. We may need to get out in the country somewhere and burn some rubber. I don't know how that'll go over. Uh, mm. Find myself on the other side of the... Yeah, we don't need that. No, no, no. 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 No, but I, I just think as you listen to Southern City Lights, that song's perfect for that. Oh, yeah, it's got to be Southern City Lights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Did I mention I wrote that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't yeah. know if I told yeah. you or not. I may have mentioned it a time or two, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll do Southern City Lights. Southern City Lights tells exactly how it used to be right here in LJ. Even more so than other songs, really, and all the cars, and uh, we'd wash our, I would wash my car on Friday evening, and boy, I'd have on my favorite jeans, and here we'd go. I'd have the eight track and the dash of my machine. Oh, and I did, I knew every single line, I really did. And uh, we'll do that with, uh, and we, we will put it with, uh, our scenes that we have been shooting. It's going to be a fun video. You'll love watching it. It's going to take you back to yesterday. And again, we need your help. We need yeah. more pictures of the red dot. We need pictures of the pool hall. We need pictures of you guys and your old cars. And I actually found one from up in McKaysville. It's a Ford. It's a red and white Ford. And I'm going to give it to you, even though they never came to the Red Dot. They were McKaysville Staples, and I love this couple. And they were married for many, many years, and then sad tragedy hit them. But, but I found a picture of their old Ford, and then I found a picture 40 years past that of them and their old Ford. Yeah. So things like that, we would love to share your photos and incorporate it into the video. Right, yeah. If you have any pictures of any of us or you hanging around the Red Dot, the old skating rink, or any of that stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get them to us. We'll put it. We'll we'll put it in the video. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a, a special clip. This this is what local TV can do for you. This was shot this morning, and it's only a 60 second clip. But we have a 60 second clip. As Run Herschel Run came to Ella J this morning, I don't know how many of y'all knew that he was going to be in town. Was he in Ella J? He was this in morning? Ella J this morning. Herschel yeah. Walker was Herschel here. Herschel Walker was here. Yes. Why did I not hear about this? Uh, because our crew was over there shooting it, and so we're going to share a Maybe little bit of Maybe he'd like to meet Mr. Ella J. <laughs> I don't know. Run, run, run. I bet why? he would run. get really Maybe excited about you. that. Yeah, I'd be running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you could have been there at 8.30 this Where morning. Where was he at? Over here at the ETC Pavilion. Uh, <laughs> I'd have got up early for that. If you'd have known that. Well, there you go. All right, here we go. Herschel Walker. He's not a politician. The reason I'm here with you today is a very clear answer to that for this race. I'm here because that leader for this race is Herschel Walker. Yeah. But what is happening, we got people in Washington not doing the right thing. They're not right. being leaders. I'm going to tell you right now, all of that doing to worry about someone else, what we need to be worried about is our police guys. Y'all see crime in this area. Y'all see crime in this, in this area. And then, but yet, the guy running against, can y'all believe this? He called all men and women thugs and bullies, our policemen. And then he said, he said that in the debate, I support them. I'm like, no, you don't. Quit lying. Don't bear false witness, sir. You're my family. And I protect my family. And I'm sick and tired of people talking about how bad we are. I'm sick and tired of them talking about how bad this country is. I'm sick and tired of them saying that we can't do it because we can. But the way we do it, we get out in November. We get out right now during the early voting, and we get people in the office that care about this country. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not looking to be on anything except to protect my family, that you guys are my family. Okay, yay. Herschel Walker came to L.A.J. this morning. Um, he was over at the ETC Pavilion. I hope some of y'all got a, an opportunity to be there. Um, I will tell you, as a participant in yesterday's event in Jasper, I wasn't sure. You know, I knew I was probably going to vote for him, but I really wanted to nail the deal. And, and when I walked in and listened to him speak, oh, yeah. If I could vote for him twice, I would. If I was yeah. one of those other people, I could vote twice. <laughs> no, I could get my Oh, gosh. Try not to get, get me started. <laughs> I won't get started. <laughs> you got me in so much trouble. 
We'll yeah. be in so much trouble. We Somebody said trouble. something really funny the other day. I saw it somewhere. They said, get out and vote, people. Go vote. I'm saying it now even. Yeah. Go vote. If the dead can do it, so can you. Yeah, I love it. How funny is that? <coughs> Oh, I should have just said I made that up. We hope, <laughs> we hope that everybody exercises their right to vote, and it is your right to vote either way you choose to vote. Everybody knows. I mean, I've been on television now. This makes 17 and a half years. Are you sure? Yeah, but it's crazy. That was fast. And I've been so opinionated all my life, yeah. but so far everybody still talks to me, so that's okay. I've got a few people that question the fact that I haven't gone the other way, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm still conservative. I'm still what I am. And I laugh because I chose my time slot of 11 a.m. because I go up against the one program that I would never, 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 did I say never, never, ever, never watch? It comes on at 11 a.m. on Channel 2, and it is called The View. Oh, you And those it. are those I've, okay, liberal... <laughs> truthfully, truthfully right now, I have never seen The View. Yes. I've heard of it. Yes. I've never seen it You don't want to see it. You don't want to see it. But I chose this time slot. This morning, Walton and Johnson was <laughs> running uh, clips from The View. Where, really? Where Ted Cruz was appearing. Oh, yes, on the I view. saw that. Yes. <laughs> that was funny. <clears throat> that was hilarious right there. Well, Ted Cruz. I figure yeah. my choice is you can go conservative and watch me at 11 a.m., or you can go crazy and you can watch The View at, <laughs> yeah. at 11 a.m. So yeah. you get a choice. And that's why I chose my time slot. I used to be on earlier in the morning. And. We used to be on for two hours, and um, it was crazy because they said, can you fill two hours? And I said, are you nuts? Of course we can fill two hours. <clears throat> but with the political arena, we have to be so cautious and so careful, which is kind of crazy because we are an independent person, and, and we can voice our opinion in America. Nobody's taken our right to uh -huh. free speech away yet. Right yet. now, they're, yet. they're trying to play it up where it's all about women's rights and and choices of it. It's not that at all. It's no. gas prices. Yeah, and grocery prices. <laughs> it's grocery prices, yeah. yes. Yeah. You've been to the grocery store yes. lately? Yeah. It's that yeah. we can't get anybody to work in the restaurants so we can yeah. go out to eat. Yeah, yeah. Never mind the women, are, they got their choices. When we pull in a drive through at Burger King and I say, son, thank you for showing up for work today because I got to get my junior whopper. Yes. Thank you for showing yeah, up I for work. I do that. I do that. Yeah. When yeah. I go, when I go yeah. to a restaurant, mm -hmm. I say, thank you for coming in to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Because we have seen a world where we have given away and given it's away It's the border and given away. being over flooded with illegal immigrants. Yeah, it is. It's, that's and, what we're talking about, and, folks. And let's add this. You and I both have Hispanic friends. Many, sure? many Hispanic yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what we love about our Hispanic friends? They're all overachievers. They yes. believe in work. They believe yeah. in, in God. They believe in uh -huh. America. They came to America for a better life. I got Hispanic friends all over the place. They rode my bus. I see them all the time. They're always hollering at me. We talk on social media. We, we yeah. talk, we text, and we do everything. It's not like that. No, no. <laughs> it's, it's about doing things the right way. Yes. And the right way to run America is by the, you know, we were founded on bibl biblical beliefs. Uh -huh. We were founded on work ethics that say that you can, you know, um, I, my husband's family got all the land they got because of the terrible things that happened to the Cherokee Indian and then the American lottery happened and they got 60 acre tracts of land or 80 acre tracts of land given to them, but they had to farm it and they had to work to people, keep it. People are dying in tractor trailers Mm -hmm. Trying and, to get and here. And drowning trying to get in, here. in the river down there, trying to get here because they know nobody's going to do anything to them for illegally crossing. It's pitiful. That's messed up. It's pitiful. It's pitiful. They're you off. can't blame them for wanting a better mm -hmm. life, but they mm -hmm. need to go about it in the right way instead mm -hmm. of drowning because they know there's no... Uh, no, nothing going to be done to them for coming in. And and the coyotes that are making money, each person yeah. who crawls in that tractor and trailer pays them $150, $250, $500 per person. 
And wasn't it over a hundred or so died last year in tractor trailers? And and they yeah. they died. They paid to come to America. And they're and helpless. They died. Yeah, yes, and they're yes, helpless. Yes, Couldn't yes, get out so of that sad. hot tractor trailer. So sad. Because some guy was making money yeah. illegally. He just parked the truck and, and they left knew them. it'd be okay to come home because little JoJo is not going to do anything to them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jo we're going to get in so much trouble. Okay, we're going to try not to. Okay, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got sent to Facebook I shall prison refrain. for seven days. Okay. Okay. I got sent to Facebook prison for seven Bumbling. days because I said something about an Alabama chigger was meaner than a Georgia chigger. Y'all think about that. Yeah. If 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 they're if they're critiquing and looking at things so stupid as me making a statement, we had been to Alabama over to our lake property and I stepped out of the truck and the chiggers ate me alive. So I made a comment on Facebook. Hey, mm -hmm. the Alabama chiggers are meaner than the Georgia chiggers. I got taken off yeah, Facebook, and my well, friends are just cracking up laughing. Joe, like, don't even, Joe is floating around behind the animals, that's for sure, <laughs> but he has no idea what farm he's on. Speaking of farming, <laughs> yeah. did you know the American farmer today is the backbone of this country? Yes. Do you know that? Do Absolutely. you know how little respect well, the American farmer I gets? Know it. Can we give a bit of foreign aid to the farmer over here? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. We leave $400 billion in Iraq or wherever he left it, um, Afghanistan, whatever. He, you know, it's craziness. And then we have farmers who are losing their farms, family farms of six generations. So sad. Yeah. Go out to Kansas and see who's producing our grain. Go, go out to Iowa and see who's producing our corn and then find out that China is coming here and buying all of our farms up, which is the saddest thing I've ever <coughs> seen. It's, it's heartbreaking. And, and we need to support American farmers, American way of living. Are we in trouble yet? I don't think so. What are you looking all for? All that she just said, and, and what burns me is, this guy, Oh yeah, your right daddy. Here, yeah. He fought. Yeah. For our country, and yeah. look what we're doing with it. Yeah, D-Day, D-Day, yeah. D-Day. Yeah, remember, and and remember Germany. Remember, remember all the days, all the days that uh, so many have fought, and and get Daddy. Can you you want to get him down? No, he's good. Got now. him. Okay. Yeah. You know we are sitting here. We're approaching two weeks from an election. This is the most important election in American history. I believe, <clears throat> because I believe we have seen our country taken to limits. One time before, in 2008, it went down the, down the sink and down the drain, and we brought it back. And I'll be darned if it's not headed down the drain again. And, and honestly, I, I've never, I, I had five kids that I bought groceries for. If I had five kids now, I'd be saying, you don't want to eat this week, do you? You don't yeah. want to eat this week, do you? Two of y'all are not going to get the week. To yeah. You. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's pitiful. It is pitiful. It is. So and you sad. think about a mom and a dad today working at the levels we're working, whether it be at the chicken plant or whether it be as a, as a real estate agent, whatever you're doing for a living. You have to walk in the grocery store and you don't have a choice. You have to feed your children, you have to feed your family. But the prices are mm -hmm. ridiculous. They are just uh, butter. And supply. Yeah, There's crazy. a big problem with yeah. supply. Yeah, yeah. And there's no reason for it. There's absolutely no reason for it. So we are praying don't, don't. that in two weeks, you exercise your rights. Two weeks from today, you have the right to go into the polls. You have the right to vote your choice. Do it, folks. For America. Do it. Yeah, do it, do it. I know you're working. I know you got a lot to do. You're picking up the children. You're doing all this. Make sure you vote. Do it. Do it. If the dead can do it, so can you. You can do it. You can do it. Now, um, Donovan fixed this song, and, and yesterday <clears throat> we met some people up on the top of the mountain while we were doing a little shoot for the video, and... Um, she was from Ella J, and he wasn't. He was from a foreign place. And um, I said, it's time to tell people about Welcome to Ella J. Welcome to Ella J. Today is the perfect day to come to Ella J. If you're sitting at home in Ball Ground, if you're sitting at home in Jasper, come to Ella J before the rain comes because the leaves are fantastic today. I think the prettiest drive I saw today, though, which is very weird, was from Ball Ground to Jasper on old Highway 5. That's pretty, I love that. It was absolutely beautiful. And I thought, how weird is that? Ain't and nowhere then, to eat down that way now. No, no, there's not, there's not. I used to like to go down through there and, and 
and uh, in the evenings and mm -hmm. have a nice dinner and come back up old five. Mm -hmm. You don't see me on five fifteen. No, no, <laughs> no, no. And and I think that's the key today. Get out on these back roads before the rain hits. Get out. Go to McKaysville. Go to Mineral Bluff. Go to Morganton. Go to all these tiny towns that we serve and just take your time call it a daycation you've got from the time we come off the air if you jump in your car at 12 30 you've got till about 6 30 before the sun starts setting now yesterday the sun set pretty fast it's didn't backing it? up quick right now folks yeah. it's really closing in <laughs> yeah we we about yeah. missed some pictures and yeah, um, we got them though it, it was so beautiful and the pink in the sky it was just it was oh man it was like breathtaking but you know what surprised me I guess I thought that Fort Mountain was reserved for us. When we got there, it was very busy and very crowded. I know. There were a lot of people, and I had to say, do you mind moving your car? We need to be here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, yeah. But they're good folks. Yeah, folks were very, very nice. And, and that was a cool thing. And, and to Kent and Jackie, I know that y'all came down the mountain as we were going up, but everybody get out today and do a vacation. Get out today and enjoy these beautiful mountains. Get out today and, and go enjoy a lunch at one of our tiny restaurants, one of our tiny biscuit places, one of our tiny hamburger joints. Get out and buy some apples. <clears throat> Get out and, and hit those back roads. I'll tell you somewhere we've never Sherry, been. Sherry, she's, she's not going to talk much today. No, I'm not going to talk much today. <laughs> she's just real quiet. <laughs> See, that break we took. <laughs> that break we took gave me an extra win. Let me, if can you I think tell them the I'm truth? Can funny, I tell them the truth what happened? If you think I'm not funny, just ask me. I took prednisone <laughs> just about an hour ago and it just kicked in. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> That's what happened. Yeah. They gave me steroids and it's working now. Yeah. So now do you want to set up for Welcome to LJ because Donovan's about to play it. Tell people how all that came about. Welcome <coughs> to LJ, folks. It's a, it's a little song I wrote. And uh, we've made videos about Ella J. There's been videos made about Ella J. for as long as memory allows. And uh, but when we attach "Welcome to Ella J." to it, magic happened. And uh, real proud of that. And uh, wrote it on a cold night. And it just. Uh, it, 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 it came together fast, and it told the truth, and it rhymed. So how do you like me now? Pretty good? Here it is. Is it coming right now? It's, it's not yet, but when, oh. when you did this, oh, sorry. Okay. everything was in place that's in this story. <clears throat> it, was, it was correct on time frame. Yes. Slim was still the police. Yes. Okay. And Apple blossom, baby possums. Muscadine wine. Yeah, Slim was working. Uh, I was working. And uh, I remember I told Slim I wrote the song. And he said, you ought to be, out, you ought to be working instead of writing songs. Uh-oh. I was on duty. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> but he grew to love it. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's funny. <laughs> so you told him you were sitting If you there? knew Slim, uh, you'll know that I left a few words out of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That is cool. <laughs> that is cool. Now, you have a tribute to him <laughs> in your home. He meant a lot to you? Yeah, well, Slim was a good one. Slim was, uh, he, he barked really loud, but his bite was very mild. Slim would help you if you needed help. Do we have time? Mm -hmm. I'll tell a story. Because mm -hmm. you're not going to talk much today mm -mm. anyway. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My daddy had just passed away. And uh, he had just been buried a few days. And I was working that night. And uh, I got to, you know how you get, I got to wanting to just feel closer to him. So I snuck out to the cemetery where daddy's buried in the patrol car. That's a no-no. I don't think it is now because you see them everywhere. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at the time, we weren't supposed to do that, so I snuck out there. And I sat by Daddy's grave. It was about 2 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I sat there and done some thinking, you know. Well, I got ready to leave. We had a brand-new patrol car, a 1990, uh, uh, what are those? Uh, Crown Vic. Crown Vic, yeah. And... Uh, 
got ready to leave and I put it in reverse and I wheeled around. I hit a post <gasps> that they had had in the cemetery there for grave marking. I didn't, I don't know what in the world. I hit that post. I caught it with the front fender. Tore the front fender off of that brand new patrol car. Oh my gosh. I did not know what to do, okay? Oh I did God. not know what to do. Oh, no. oh gosh, I, I was sneaking back into town. I tore the, <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know what to do. So I thought about it and I said, all right, there's just one thing to do. So I went down to Slim's, drug him out of the bed. I said, come out here, got to show you something. And uh, showed him the car and oh, he was mad. And then I told him the story and he hung around there. We stomped around a few minutes and he said, park it right out there, put it behind the house, <laughs> get in that other patrol car. And he said, I'll handle it. He took that new car to the body shop Told him he did it. <gasps> no, how <laughs> sure sweet. did he? Sure oh did. God. Told him he did it, and I didn't get in trouble. That was my slim right there. Wow, that how was my sweet. slim. How sweet. He was a good one. He'd help. How you. precious is that? He was a good one. Yep. Well, right now we want to share. Welcome to LJ. Even though you got in trouble for writing it on duty, I think it was worth getting in trouble <laughs> yeah. for. So. Yeah. So we're going to share welcome to Ella Jane, then we're going to be back and have to tell y'all goodbye. Woo! Here we go. How y'all doing out there? Welcome to Ella Jane. That's with a J. About 90 miles north of Atlanta. Where the Kusawati lay They come out of the hills To pay their telephone bills In a town called Ella J When the mayor drove a shiny 62 Corvette Slim was in a cruiser with a Cobra jet What you see is exactly what you get If you come to Ella J a mighty fine place to be Ella J, Good enough for you and me yeah. Apple blossom, baby possum, muscadine wine Leave all your troubles at the welcome sign I'm so proud to call a piece of this mine A town
couple of things. I'm so scared because I need something else I have to do tomorrow. 11 a.m. tomorrow, we're going to debut a one-hour special of Heart of the Home. You starred in it because your singing is in it. My cooking is in it. Do you know what you don't get to see much of? My cooking. I worked like a slave to produce this food, and we didn't even put pictures of my food in it. You know why? We featured him. It was all about him. It was all about the music. It was all about the view. He did. He took over. But I want y'all to see it tomorrow. It is a tribute and a, a very special piece of my heart because it says thank you to my buddy, Frank Went Fred Wyndham, who went to be with the Lord last year. Heart of the Home would have ended if Tim hadn't come back and we hadn't decided we were going to do it. So tomorrow, in this time slot, we're going to preview and let you see the Heart of the Home featuring your music. Right? Yep. Is that guitar driving you crazy? Yeah. So tomorrow, tune in again, 11 to 12, and then Thursday, we're back to regular scheduling. But I, I want you to, I want you to see this heart of the home. I want you to think about the beautiful area that we call home to the Sherry Show, home to ETC, home to so many people. Get out and enjoy these mountains. Get out and enjoy these mountains and, and take a trip to um, Gates Chapel. What's that other road we went on where Vic lived? Uh, Maple Rest. Maple Rest. That is the coolest little area through there. I know. And then go for a creek today, y'all. Do yourselves a favor and get out and it, truly enjoy these mountains. Enjoy these mountains. And if you want to pick up a copy of any of his CDs, you can pick up the phone and call me at 404-375-0590 and we will get them to you. Thank you for being here today. Well, thank you for having me. I get out on these back roads all the time. Yeah. All yeah. the time. Here we go. Time to say goodbye. We'll see you again soon. Bye, y'all.